Never moving on is not going to be an easy thing, but it definitely can be done. You have to remember, first of all, when you're moving on, it's because the purpose of realizing there's nothing that's holding weight here. So let's say if you have a relationship with that person or you're realizing that it feels good, it is good, but it's not graduating to something, then you have to let it go. However, the point of this video is about moving on is going to be something that is done for yourself. So when I'm saying that you've been with that person, been dealt with them, it's because you realize that, oh, that person hasn't been treating me the way that I need to be treated. Never moving on is because you haven't moved on when you didn't need to, but you now have done it. Now, let's reverse it. That person hasn't moved on because they realized the worth that they had with you. So remember, you have high value things about yourself that that person cannot dismiss. And they can't be like, oh, I dealt with that person and they have moved on from me because of these reasons. It is not possible that they moved on for these reasons because they still know the value that you have. So I'm saying the actual moving on doesn't happen on their end. But if it happens on your end, that's okay. And I'm only going to touch base on this topic of it's okay on your end because it's very important. I'm not going to keep going on about it. I might make it be a separate video, but y'all got to let me know if you want a part two for sure. And if you do want other topics, let me know in the comment section. So back to like moving on for yourself. If you realize you're detached, you're moved on. You don't want to give access. It's not worth it. Like, take the moment to think about it. Does it feel that way? Reflect for a second. If it feels that way, and do this on your own time as well after the video, if it feels that way, then it might come down to, oh, yeah, you're getting your answer of moving on, detaching yourself is the key thing. Because sometimes you might have good memories, love for the person, believe in the person, see the potential but it's actually not good enough. All right, so I'll wrap that point up with that. However, make that decision for yourself. So never moving on will still look like when you decided that you're not gonna force, push, make it be something, they realize for themselves your words at. When you pull back, it's gonna help yourself. That's automatic. And then when we look at the person that you're dealing with, you gotta look at it in like, what are they dealing with themselves? Because sometimes I get comments where it's like, oh, well, this haven't happened until then. And then this is not happening the way I want it to, but I realized this about them. They will give me this and that. So simple things that you might receive, whether it's direct or indirect, it's telling you a lot about the person that you're dealing with. They are trying to maybe have access to you but moving on is difficult because they still have an attachment to you. It could be a good attachment. It could be a hard attachment. It could be a middle attachment where it's like a decent percentage. But they still have it to you and they can't let go. Now, before I continue on, make sure you check out the links down below. If you want to go ahead and get a consultation going on and talk about what's going on with you, you can do that. And if you want to just check out master classes that I have available, affirmations, and I also have a whole lot of other stuff like no contact. If you're going to go through that or if you want to experience it, it's a journal and it's a guide. And I just have a whole lot that can help you through your process. Don't feel like you're not going to get through it. You will. Don't worry about it. You will. And if you want to go ahead and email me to get more help or you just want to say something, I'm there for you. Like, I want y'all to have a great experience through the process of dating or just in general. Like, don't have it to be so really complicated. Take a moment to be like, do I do that for my situation? Am I making it be that? Like, just think about it. Because at the end of the day, and remember, you can reflect on your own time and come back to this video. But at the end of the day, if it's not helping you elevate, if it's not helping you grow, what's the purpose of it all? It's not worth it. And I say this to say, like, you have way greater potential. Now, when she's never moving on, the point of that is that there's something about you. When you're around her and how you treat her, 
women catch on to, oh, I love his vibe. I love how he's good to me. Now, it doesn't stop there. I love how he's laid back. Now, it doesn't even stop there. I love how he communicates. What I'm saying is that there's little things about you that you're diminishing and you're not even putting acknowledgement or a light on that is helping you get through dating with women. Because there's many, and I'm going to say it straight up, there's many guys that are not attractive. There's many of guys that, oh, she would rather have him look this way or in this area she would rather have it this way but because of that guy it's worth it it makes sense to have it this way the reason why i'm saying that is that you might have to have it not going on with that but it doesn't matter as long as you're showing to her the built up is coming up because these guys, they can have it in those type of things that she can be wishing for or wanting, but it's not going to be full package. There's going to be a lack of some sort of point. And I say that because you have to look at it as in like, you have these check marks that are mostly checked off. So let's say out of 10, you have eight. That's a high percentage. If you have even seven or if you go all the way to, let's say, nine, that's crazy amounts. So there's certain things that women take in and be like, I don't want to happen. So that's a whole nother topic. And I'm going to continue on in a different video to mention that. But just get the understanding of what you bring to the table, how you're valuable, what you are showing to her. And don't downgrade i want to say diminish but don't downgrade yourself don't diminish yourself don't make yourself seem like you're less than and if she's not about it y'all you, you don't gotta be about it and then if she's not about it why would you even want to be about it so bottom line is that keep pushing through keep going ahead and showing your worth and then making things happen and it, it, it will happen for the greater good for yourself. I hope this video was helpful. Stay focused. Make sure you're aiming for what is going to be beneficial for yourself. Have self-love. Have self-care. No matter what you're going through, it's going to get better. All right, y'all. I hope this video was helpful once more. Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you check out the bottom links and bottom links, links, all that to whatever you want to see. Whatever you want to participate in that could be helpful. And then that's it. Be subscribed. Bye, y'all. There's other stuff that you have going on. It could be about anything. Self-improvement. Back to dating. Consultations are available for that. Book your consultation. Let's get on the line and talk about what's going on with you. Click that link after this video. Sleep affirmations so you could become that powerful man. And it is recorded in my voice. And I give you the strongest affirmations to overall become that man. And subconsciously become powerful. So let's get into these books. Get a track woman you want. And get her to miss you along with secrets to winning her over. And it tells you about cold approaching. It tells you my personal personal stories and if you're trying to up your game in the dating game these books are going to be perfect for that and you can get it all in a bundle deal make sure you click the link down below are self improving in the process this is so serious this is why i have a whole no contact guide and journal available y'all could go ahead and purchase it if you need somewhere to start off then you need all the breakdowns all the insight the information and i have structure in there help you prompts things i'll tell you you got this but it'll give you also reasons why and i have stories in there that tells why no contact has worked for people all types of stuff it's so detailed y'all that's how much information i made sure to put in there step up no contact or if you need somewhere to start and you need something to help you this is like me guiding you as you go through no contact that's how i customized it for y'all so you can check that out by clicking the link down below see what you could do with no contact how far you could do it just learn everything have the guidance and well, accountability partner although i'm not actually there you'll feel that sense from this journal and guide